That ain't gonna stop me though. I don't even need music. I'll add it in afterwards. You know, it's like shit, I've been through so much in life. I gotta fucking take on demons. I gotta take on warlocks. I gotta take on witches. I gotta take on people from my ex paradigm. All because I healed. All because I'm not looking broken. All because I'm confident. Like, and then they wanna gaslight you. Like, Corey, you tripping? Nah, bro. I'm fully aware. I'm a psychic. Stop playing with me. My intentions are pure, bro. Stop fucking with me. 1101, that's portal energy. Stop fucking with me. Ashe, let's tap in, family. Listen, I pulled two cards today. I pulled the King of Wands. And then I pulled the Devil card. Which is very interesting. Because if you pull the King of Wands and the Devil card, that means there's a lot of... It could be... It could be... Because um, it deals with sexual energy as well. It deals with the shadow. It deals with attachments. It deals with addiction during this time. And then you got the Kings of Wands, which is impulsive, which is passion, which is drive. And if it's not... If it's not... Um, guided and governed correctly, it could be really chaotic during this time. And this is where light work... You know, people want to say, you know what I'm saying, they're light workers and they're good workers. Some of us hold space for others as well. But like I say, and I say it again, you can't give what you don't have. And that's why it's very important that you really sacrifice to cultivate high frequency. Because we're living in a backwards matrix where people think you got to have a Lamborghini. They think you got to have a shirt on. They think you got to have certain things to be qualified when really it's truly an energy. It's truly an energy. It's spirit before the physical. You can't bypass that. It's pre-matter. Spirit is pre-matter. Hear me now. Hope you're not in a rush. Ashe. Hope you're drinking tons of water during this time. You know, a lot of my, I wouldn't even say issues, is that, you know what I'm saying, being a high priest, someone who's very close to the divine, a lot of my issues that I'm having with people is that in the mental field, um, they're not aware that that's a real realm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the issues I have, they can't even put it in words. But when you heal and you come out of the X paradigm, you're a literal walking tower for them. You're literally, your light irritates their shadow with just your essence, just your face. Like, I don't even got to try. I can go live and just stare at the screen. And, it, and that light will project onto their shadow. Now, I'm saying that to bring, I don't think any, I, I think this is more for me than it is anybody. This is my truth at the end of the day, but it's a real situation. You know what I'm saying? You got to be aware. You got to make sure you drink a water during this time. For real. That's the first time I've ever pulled the devil card. And the devil card to me represents the shadow. It represents attachments. It, to me, it represents what's comfortable. When the shadow ain't a good or bad thing, the shadow, it, it's like a cosmic dance. It wants to be loved. Yeah, the shadow wants to be loved low key. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, this is my third live. This is crazy. They kicked me out. I'm going to be editing this and putting it on TikTok, so I'm not really worried about, you know what I'm saying, making sure that I'm cook, uh, what is it called, cookie cutter, making sure um, a certain image for entertainment minds. You know what I'm saying? It's truly more important that I stay focused and grounded during this time, especially in my life, when I pull cards like the the knight of wands and then i pull the devil card you know what i mean so those are the cards i pull when i said i'm about to go live spirit what would you have me say to the collective during this time and those were the cards i pulled you know what i mean so a lot of us went to uh upgrade a lot of us leveled up and it's evident you know what i mean so thank you source thank you divine i am still low-key irritated about um them kicking me out of the live Ashe. You know, it's hilarious to. It's hilarious when I pull the devil card and you're dealing with shadow. You know what I'm 
what I'm saying? When, when you spend your whole life working on your energy, and then other people feel stuff and they want to project it, you know what I mean? This has nothing to do with social media. I won't even look at the phone. I'm just saying in general. It's in general to not handle your shadow. And then blame others. And the shadow just comes up to be healed. And I know if I just stare at the camera, that is truly love and light. I know my intentions and I know my soul. And I know that um, I come like a wrecking ball and I bring towers everywhere I go. I alter people's life everywhere I go. And I don't even mean to. I'm a legitimate high priest. You know what I mean? And um, as an earth angel, it's hard for me to understand personally what conditional love is. People want to love you to a condition. As long as you keep their illusion running, you know what I mean? It's really sad, bro. It's really sad, sis. You know what I mean? Ashe, let it res where res. I'm sure if it don't res, they don't res. We can alchemate the space. I'm just still kind of low-key upset. They kicked me out three times because of the music. You know what I mean? But... Ashe, so before I go... I just want to say you can't give what you don't have, period. I don't care how much you know. I don't care how much you study. If you're not constantly filling up your cup, you can't give it, period. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't care how long you think you've been in the game. None of that. You're nothing more or less than a conduit in a cup of energy. Ashe. So fill up your cup today. Ashe. Some of us hold space for others, some of us are grid workers. And I'm gonna tell you right now, your bioelectric field, what we call the aura, Ashe, connects to nature. And um, that's why I'm such a fiend as an earth angel trying to tell people, hey, get out in nature. You work on your etheric cords, the more you work on your chemistry, the stronger it gets. And I wanna recommend that for those that are gonna be watching this video. I know the ones that are watching right now, they're like, whatever, but check it. It's, you can't bypass the relationship. You know, a lot of issues I have with people on this social media shit is, um, it is, uh, because they're not aware of their mental body, and it's because we don't have a chemical relationship. We don't have a relationship. You know what I mean? So, it would be different if we actually had a relationship. I wouldn't even need words. I wouldn't even have to show my face. You know what I mean? So, you're not a light worker if you're not, if you're not taking care of, you know what I'm saying, the small things like that, you know what I mean, filling up your cup. Listen, I don't believe the soul family that I'm coming in contact with, I have to tell them these things, they're already up and on it. They're already doing these things. You know what I mean? So don't call yourself a witch. Don't call yourself a wizard. Don't call yourself an alchemist if you're not daily tuning in to the frequency of Earth. At least giving yourself 30 minutes. And then you want to go outside yourself and then wonder why everything outside yourself is so... Uh, and then, you know what I'm saying? Especially during this time. Good luck to you, my friend. We're living in a backwards matrix. You know what I'm saying? Very backwards. When I say backwards, I mean physical to spiritual. So, much love, gang gang. Ashe. Stay blessed, family. I love you guys. Gang gang, we taking off.